Hi there GPNZ crew, I'm Sam, I'm from giantpumpkins.co.nz. Welcome along to this video. In this one, I start talking about what I've been doing to prepare the Tiny Patch 2.0 for the upcoming giant pumpkin growing season. It's taken me a little while to get this sorted. I've been waiting on some products from some suppliers. This level four COVID lockdown that we've had previously hasn't helped and there's been some delays with the mailing and shipping. But now that I've got everything, it's time to sort out this tiny patch. I've done a pH soil test this year because I'm in a new location and it's always good to do that. The pH level of the tiny pumpkin patch 2.0, it's not too bad, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to get more organic material in there. I want some more product to break down that clay substrate that's already there. And uh, yeah, just add more nutrients for the pumpkin for when it's ready near the end of October. First thing I did was I removed all the uh, topsoil in the area I want to grow in. And I've dug down as much as I can, turning up that soil. I used a spade and an average garden fork. Probably not the best, but in the future I'd really like to get a broad fork. I think they're a great tool. For compost this year I decided to get some Dalton's organic compost mix. It's almost twice the price of the um, real cheap stuff that you see around the places. But I get the feeling that they're making so much compost so fast that they don't have time for it to break down properly. And that's when you get those compost bags that smell really really bad. And some of that cheap stuff when you open it, a lot of it is basically just bark. Now I know they use bark as the main ingredient but it's not broken down enough for my liking. So I went with this organic one and it actually looked real nice. It didn't smell, it smelled like actual mature compost. Uh, I think it ran just over $11 a bag, so not too bad. And for an area my size, I only needed three bags. Now on to a bunch of other products that I got. Uh, this is just some stuff that I wanted to try. So I got my hands on some Seek Organic Bamboo Biochar. So biochar, you might hear that being banded around the place. It's wood that's been burnt and then sort of reburnt to make the charcoal. They do it at a high temperature. This stuff is really good for the garden. This product comes in little pellets. It's really easy to apply and you don't need very much according to the back of the label. So uh, this one bag will go quite away in the tiny pumpkin patch. I also got some other products from Insect Direct. Now that's with a Z. I got Frasilizer, which is made from soldier fly black larvae and I also got some tripalizer tripalizer plant fertilizer now this stuff is made from uh, crickets and a New Zealand company doing some great stuff with crickets animal feed and moving into other areas so this stuff's really good and uh, those nutrients will be in there so really happy to try that out um, thanks to the team for getting that to me I decided to mix each bag of compost with all the additives in a container so um, making sure that each of the products was evenly added to each bag of compost. So I ended up with three containers, mixed all that up. Uh, once I put the quantities that I wanted in each container, I mixed that up with my Weedo. You'll remember that from previous years. That's the mixing tool that goes on the end of a cordless drill. I quite like it. Then I tipped the containers out, I raked it in so it was nice and smooth. After putting everything back in the garden shed, I realized that I'd missed two bags of product. That I wanted to add. I got this a couple of years ago. It was given to me by Dave's Garden Products. They do some cool stuff as well. One of the products was Turbo Garden Blend. The other is Organic Humates. Now this stuff is, you can see that it's really rich once you open the bag, looking really good. I added these to the top of the tiny patch and then I went over with the Weedo to mix it in. Hopefully that works out okay. I then watered everything in the tiny patch, mixed it in a little bit, that's to help stop the wind from blowing it around and hopefully activate some of these products and hopefully they'll go down into the soil and make it a better growing area for that for that giant pumpkin. Two bags from Dave's Garden Products, they're pretty old, I have had them for a couple of years. The new products come in newer bags. There we go, that's everything I've done so far with the tiny pumpkin patch, tiny patch 2.0. I've added in all these products, I'm hopefully going to be sorting out watering next and it's not very far away from seed starting. So once that happens, it's gonna be very exciting. Um, can't wait to get that going. I'll have a video all about that as well upcoming. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, hit that button and you can follow along with what I'm up to this growing season in a brand new area, Tiny Patch 2.0. So until next video, I'm Sam. Uh, check out the website giantpumpkins.co.nz about everything to do with pumpkin growing here in New Zealand. And uh, I will see you next time.